So now we need to go into our index.js and set up our application so that it wraps itself around this thing called provider provided by Redux. So let's import provider from Redux, React Redux and we'll be able to wrap our app component with this provider component so it understands the data that we will pass to it. So the store will be uh, passed to the provider component. So we need to import our store here. So I'm going to just call this store from our store.js in the same directory. And then we need to create a store instance from the store component that we importing in. So this will create an instance of a store. And then we're going to go into the render function and then wrap our application component in the provider component and passing in store instance as the store property. And like this, we have a application entry point set up. Now it understands uh, Redux. It seems like there's an error here. Um, store instance is assigned value but never used. So um, I need to change, I need to uh, put the store instance in instead of the word store here. So that's the error. And it seems like there's another error. There's a Whenever there's empty blank screen, you need to go to console to see what the error is. It seems to be combined reducer is not a function. So we need to go to where combined reducer is defined and then look at it. So it seems like I misspelled the word combined reducer. So I just need to put the E in there and this should work. There you go. So next we need to go to our app.js and put the carts component that we made into the um, to the application. So we're going to need to import cart components and then in here we need to put um, the cart component in. So it's a very simple component. Um, so it says shelf is not uh, defined. Module shelf is not found. So we need to go to cart component to see what's wrong with it. And it seems like I need to do the dot slash to do the relative path importing. So there you go. Now um, prop is not defined, which is another error. Um, it seems like um, I need to say this dot prop that action, not this dot prop that actions. There you go. Now the component renders, and the console is complaining that you cannot put a p tag underneath a p tag. So we need to change this p tag here to a div. And now no more errors. So now if I click on this, nothing works. It's because I don't have any uh, on-click handler for the buttons here. So we need to add a on-click handler on the buttons. So you want to do that, we'll just do an on-click in the components for shelf.js. And then this one, we will invoke the, the, the action creator that we're going to pass into this component. So when this happens, I'm going to call a local function called onclick add and then pass in the item. So we're going to define a onclick add function in this component. It takes an item. And then whenever you do that, make sure you bind it to correctly. So you would do in the constructor, you will do this dot onclick add equals this dot onclick add dot bind and then passing this. So this will make sure that the context is correct when you uh, use the function or call the function. So now inside on click add, we need to first in the, um, we need to pass in the action creator to this. So remember we, we have a property called on add item and which is the action creator function. So in the this.props.add item of shelf components, you should be able to use it and then it will call the action creator. So if I just do this.prop.addItem and then pass in the item and this will call the action creator and this will trigger the whole Redux flow. So now if you go into 
uh, there's a council log here you can look at it uh, happening so um, everything's correct let's refresh and click on add shampoo huh, it seems like um, this thing is being triggered but however nothing is being added to the list of items in our carts so something's wrong and we need to check what's going on um, let's cancel lock here just to see what's up so it seems like uh, the problem is that this here we need to check for the payload type not the payload itself this is the standard uh, flux or redux thing so now when you click on it and here it is it shows up in the in the cart items and now you have a redux setup so this seems this is very uh, simple I think so now you have a redux system in the create react app it may look a bit complicated but um, this whole thing here is just very simple to set up this video was brought to you by DigitalOcean the best cloud computing service designed for developers. Start your private server in as little as one minute. Choose from a wide selection of preview images such as Node, LAMP, Docker, and WordPress, hosted on multiple regions around the world. Use the link in the description below to get $10 off when you sign up. I'll see you in the next video.